Another brick fan here with a brickhead set. This is the Ninjago 10th Anniversary Brickheads. This is set 40490. It was released in June 2021. It has 406 pieces and cost about $30 when it was released. This set was first offered in Lego stores where you got a discount. You could purchase it for $10 when you purchased, I think it was $100 in Ninjago merchandise. And then it was made widely available on lego.com in July. As you can see, this set includes three brickheads, which include Golden Lloyd, Naya Samurai X, and a firstborn dragon. Let's go ahead and get these built, and then we'll take a look at the finished brickheads. Here are the finished brickheads. So here is Golden Lloyd here, and he also has this Ninjago 10th Anniversary series. This is a print. The only other place I saw this is in the Ninjago City Gardens set, which is a complement to Ninjago City and the Ninjago, into the Ninjago City docks. Really good set as well. Here is Naya in her Samurai X uniform, costume, whatever you want to call that. I think it's really well done with these nice horns and the overall black, red, and green theme. And lastly, we have a firstborn dragon who, in my opinion, actually looks a little bit better when you look at him from the side because you can see the jaw that protrudes out in front and then you get a better look at the eye, which is kind of buried or hidden when you look at it from the front, you just see that little slit of an eye, which obviously is done on purpose and, and does for a pretty decent effect. Let's take a look at each of these figures individually. Taking a look at Golden Lloyd first, he's done in this a lot of these pearl gold pieces, so an awful lot of the pearl gold one by two tiles here. Has the green accent, of course, which he's always been the green ninja, so that makes sense. I like the use of these kind of fender or hood type ornaments uh, here that give that extra shoulder pad look. Interesting choice of the antlers here in the front, but still makes for an interesting little effect. And I already mentioned the Ninjago 10th anniversary tile here. And as you can see, he does have a little bit of this kind of nougat colored pieces interspersed here. There is kind of a armor piece represented here by that little tooth piece in the front. As you'd expect, he's very smooth with a lot more of these pearl gold tiles around the back. Well, he has more of a curved blade here, a more substantial sword than the katana I normally see, which is the thinner, more curved looking sword. But it still has this tassel piece on the back, which I think is a good fit. And in this case, the minifigure sized accessory does go pretty well with this particular brickhead. So there is Lloyd. Let's take a look at Naya. So we, here we have Naya as Samurai X. 
And as you see, she's in a black, red, and green with a few gold accents here. So her hood is done completely a kind of helmet done in black here. And I like the way they did the shaping of this with these slope pieces on the sides here and then the corner pieces here to kind of make it look a little more rounded as far as the helmet goes. There is a satellite dish here on top that kind of completes the rounded look. She also is using these fender pieces here to represent the big shoulder pads around her, the tops of her arms here, on her shoulders, obviously. And then she is carrying the katana, which is the thinner, a little bit curved blade here, as opposed to that wider sword that Lloyd was carrying. Once again, I think this scale minifigure accessory does fit pretty well with the brickheads. They don't always. And then the horns here on the front are done with a couple of these Cur these robot arm, these arm pieces, or and then some of these like pistol pieces. So they're built up with quite a few different pieces that are kind of pushed together as opposed to clicked together. So these horns have a lot of articulation in them. So you can kind of angle these however you want in the front. I mean, they can move in like this, and they can move forward and backward and up and down. I think probably they look best or they, they diagram the instructions show them as kind of being a little bit forward and then spread apart like this, which I think uh, turns out pretty well. This hoop piece here with the stud in the middle makes for a good decoration. This is easy to get a little bit off center. So you need to be pretty careful because this circle piece here is just clipped on to a one by one with a clip up in there. And of course, it's interesting that the eyes come through here as opposed to just using like plain tiles like we did with Lloyd uses just the green trans tiles, but these are the actual brickhead eyes here. Let's take a look at the dragon. So the third and final brickhead in this set is a firstborn dragon. This is a red dragon, obviously, we have here. I like the way that the jaw protrudes up front. They're using this white tooth piece here. The eyes are done with this yellow here, but they're kind of hidden underneath these slope pieces, which I think gives him a much more ominous look. The wings on either side move up and down, and they can slightly move in and out because they're only on a single stud. So you could theoretically fold the wings way back up underneath the dragon here. So a lot of good ability to position those wings for the dragon and even move them up this way. So lots of good positioning can be done with these dragon wings. The sides are all sloped here with a bunch of these longer slope pieces as well as tiles. A couple of these, what I would call a rudder piece or a tail fin piece here in the back that give it a little bit more texture. And then speaking of the back, well, quickly there's, you can see he does have four legs with four individual feet. So a little bit like the Buckbeak character that we got from the Harry Potter universe as a brickhead a, a while back. The horns are pretty elaborate where they come out here and swoop around and then have a couple of additional kind of horns or sharp edges on them. And once again, these can be positioned quite a bit because they are on these little one by one stud with a bar coming out, which gives you a lot of flexibility and movement. I really like the use of all of these pyramid or half pyramid type pieces, both on the top here, as well as all the way down the back, which gives a lot of texturing to the back of the dragon's head. A couple of those dragon or those tooth pieces there which kind of stop these rudder pieces from going too far back, but it's still, you can position those how you like. And then the tail, of course, here in the back, which is a little longer. So overall, I really like the way that this dragon turned out. As I mentioned kind of in the beginning, I think he looks better from a slight angle because you get to see more of the dragon. Of course, if you want to make him more compact, you can simply fold these wings in very close to the dragon's body. And I think that looks 
okay as well. So let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this set. It's nice to get some new Ninjago Brickheads. We have way back when Brickheads first came out, about four years ago, we got Lloyd in his normal green ninja look and Master Wu, which both turned out pretty well. And I did review both of those Brickheads. I'll put some links up here in the corner. But it is nice to get new ones, so I do like the Golden Lloyd, and, and this is the one that is really themed as the 10th anniversary special for Ninjago. It's nice to get Naya, especially in this very elaborate Samurai X costume. And I think the dragon turned out really well. I'm, I've been pretty impressed on how they have gotten animals to uh, be brickheads, particularly ones like, you know, that have the four legs. So when you're talking about, like I did mention Buckbeak earlier, Buckbeak being a hippogriff also has four feet. So I think they did a really nice job in creating that four leg look for the brickhead and still not making it overly large. It's still about the size of a brickhead with the exception, of course, of these great big horns and the wings that can fan out quite, quite a bit from the brickhead, as you can see. I do like the articulation in the wings as I mentioned earlier. Just really quickly on price, this one is a $30 set, which makes sense. It's uh, three full-size brick heads, which normally go for $10 each. It'd kind of be nice because you're getting them all in a single set for them to have reduced that to maybe 25, but this certainly is not out of the normal pricing for brick heads. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this brick head set. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to some of my other Brickhead reviews up here on the screen.